Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. A very good morning to all. In this video, so I mean, uh, I think uh, I mean I don't I mean I not I have not covered this stock frequently, but I said that okay we could see a target of around seventy rupees and eighty rupees. But I think so it is right now in the range of around ninety rupees. I think if you seen my previous videos that how we covered and how we found out that okay this could be in a short term potential. And one of the main reasons why this exponential growth in the share price was due to the right issue. Uh, so many people started to compare uh, this kind of, uh, what to say, uh, so-called issue in the share price. What is that? Means people start to compare Yemenum Finance, I mean the Mahindra and Mahindra Finance with LNT Finance Holdings Limited. Why they should compare this both? I mean, so-called so NBFC companies or housing finance companies, as per your wish. Uh, the main reason is that the right issue, I mean the price at which, at which the right issue was given for M&M Finance was at a steep discount. Basically it was like a bonus uh, gift for an example. So many people are respecting uh, this kind of, what to say, so called appreciation from l &T Finance holding also. So having a market capital rightly now in the range of around 18,000 crore. And they're gonna raise uh, the right issue amount up to 3000 crore. I think it's gonna be very, very important for the company as well as for the stakeholders who are holding this. So, what is going to be the right issue price? I think till now there has been no update regarding uh, this right issue so, so called price. But one could understand what is the so called thing is that the market price has appreciated from the level of around 60 rupees to 90 rupees so there's a 30 rupees incremental growth so which means till now till now the what is the so called uh, the kind of price appreciation is in the price of around 50 rupees to 90 rupees so which means that the right issue could be according to you know the right issue could be in the price of around 50 to 65 rupees i think this could be the uh, price range right now, but I don't know the uh, I mean figures correctly, or I I can't be able to authorize that this could be the uh, right issue price. The main reason I'm why I'm saying this because the current market value price has been appreciated because as we always know, market always moves faster. The Mr. Market always moves faster than what people think. So that's why only the problem of I mean high rising and steep fall is coming in the market. So basically, that is an anticipation when the current market price is going to rise. That is a huge anticipation. It is going to be very important. So whether this LNT Finance is going to give out a steep discount, no one knows. Whether this LNT Finance is going to give out a high, uh, what is it, so-called 20 or 30 percent down for, I mean, uh, 20 or 30 percent down to its CMP current market price, no one knows. So how could one verify it? So as long as the current market price is going to keep on increasing, compare the percentage of rise from a fixed point of view. Okay, what was the closing price before the right issue announcement? So start to compare the price from that level till the level the market is raising because we don't know when they are going to issue the share. I mean the right issue price amount. So try to compare the percentage of incremental growth from the before of this announcement till right now. I think people could have an idea. Now, let us come to a common conclusion. What a smart trader should do as well as a smart investor should do. Investor, I always say, investor always say only on the business and not on the share price momentum. But for a trader, the main, main important point for you, clearly understand. Yes, as a trader, you, you can, if you are going to hold it for after the right issue, you could get the right entertainment and sell the market and take the money out. But one of the main problems that uh, people faced in uh, m, &M uh, right issue is that uh, people bought many shares after the announcement. So what happened is that before the X rate, so called X rate price issue, the market price started to fall. So basically people could not make money in the CMP, that is the current market price, but they could only make less profit, that to a less profit in the right entitlement. So as a trader, the best advice for you if you are holding the shares in 70 rupees or 80 rupees or 60 rupees, 60 rupees is not a problem, but 75 to 85, this is the main problem. 
problem means as well, according to right now unless and until the share crosses 100 rupees 75 to 80 rupees or 75 to 85 this price barrier i think is going to be very very important for many many stakeholders to be very cautious because the right issue price is going to determine how much of profit is going to be made be made okay if you kindly compare the mnm financial so called deep discount share issue before the or at the announcement we have bought it lower level you could make money but trader be careful after the announcement the amount of profit they are going to make is going to be very very depend upon the type of share price issue they are going to make and the price that they are going to enter it is going to be very difficult if you are going to enter at high prices so be careful okay if you are going to buy for a long term investment that is not a problem because when you believe in the company the share price does not matter ups and downs come in a share price basically many years once or few months once but the quality of the management the business flow through is going to be very important the share price comes down as an investor then try to acquire more shares that is just a simple problem so trader be very very careful in the market momentum and this is about the ld finance stock called me the ld finance right issue or ld finance holding limited a small update so careful of the price entry thank you friends and bye